वेलकम बैक इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू दिस ई मेल रिमाइंडर वेब एप विच ऑटोमेटिकली रिमाइंड टू योर कस्टमर अबाउट देयर टास्क एंड अबाउट देयर इंफॉर्मेशन लाइक दैट योर जो योर कस्टमर्स कैन रिसीव ऑटोमेटिकली ई मेल लाइक दिस दिस इज अ पेमेंट रिमाइंडर ई मेल विच इज ऑटोमेटिकली सेंड थ्री डेज लेफ्ट uh task invoice number this and expiry date is this this is reminder that your task is due in 3 days uh, it means that your payment will be cleared in 3 days make sure so also you can see here i have a uh, many uh, task titles and about the task so you can see here uh, uh, right now uh, payment reminder so you can see uh, the in the email title we have a payment reminder is 3 days left this uh, there's a three kind of emails sent to their customer if the uh, if your task have 6 days left then it will send a 6 days reminder to your customer and if 3 days left it will send you a 3 days reminder to email to your customer and then if you have one day remaining status one day remaining to expire your task then it will also send a one day before a uh, one day uh, uh, email to your customer so right now also you can update the information about your title about your email recipients and the task and about the expiry date so i will explain you all the things step by step first of all you will see here i have total 6 reminders total 6 task reminders so total 6 okay total reminder is i have 6 uh, what is the reminder right now the available quantities of our data in our database is 6 so the total entries is 6 so active reminders is 5 because active reminders is 5 it's not expired yet it not be expired yet and the expired reminders is 1 because this task is expired why this expired because its date is passed from the today date uh, today is 30th uh, december so here you will see it's uh, 29 so if i will change to to 30 and click on this update icon so now you can able to see my task is updated successfully and this will be changed also successfully here so the yellow color indicates if the task has remaining one or two days one to three days and the green color indicates if the task has remaining six to three to six days and also if you want to delete this task so so you can simply click on this delete icon and you will see your task id with id this yes delete it and when you click on this delete button so now you can able to see your task is successfully deleted from your database and from your google sheet so now you can see here it will uh, update li uh, lifetime values in your web app total reminders now 5 not the 6 so uh, i am going to uh, show you how you can able to send uh, automatically reminders so you just need to add a reminder for example i am going to uh, add a re new reminder when i click on this new reminder the automatically id comes for example uh, project payment advance okay project payment advance are a task what the task so the task is a uh, task is please pay your dues okay so the expiry date will be the one okay and when i click on this save icon uh please fill all the icons so i will need to enter my email so i will just copy this email and paste it here and click on this save icon and click on this save button so now you can able to see the reminder saved successfully when i am click on this okay so the total reminders will be the six the active is this and the expired is this so in our database i will uh, uh, so make sure your all the status when showing the pending means the email is not sent to their gmail to their email id still if this status is sent it will it uh, it it means the email is sent it to their email successfully and now further on when the script runs it will not send again email to that person so i will change them to all with pending status and uh, i will create a automatically trigger systems in that we just need to click on this and uh, go to our trigger sections here and uh, right now 
uh, I have a one uh, I have nothing triggers here I just need to click on this add trigger when I am going to click on this add trigger and uh, se just select send e uh, reminder emails and uh, select here head and uh, from here the time driven and uh, I will because this video is not a, a hourly it's a minutes it's, it's in some few minutes so I am just select here minutes and if you want to send that your automatically email system runs every hour every day every week every month it's up on you I am just showing to you that it will work I will select the minutes timer and you can also select here every 5 minutes 10 minutes 15 minutes 30 minutes I will select every minute and if it fails notify me immediately and click on this save icon when I am going to click on this save icon so now you can see the trigger the trigger is going to be added in our database okay so now we need to go to our editor and in our editor we just uh, go to our code.js and click on this run icon so everything will should be run and uh, so so now we need to wait a uh, one second so now you can see here uh, right now 557 so two emails of our system is here the payment reminder and the holiday party so let me check if it's uh, working or not so we have sent we have checked all the pending here in that video so now you can see here these two emails will be sent it because three days left to complete this so it, it's a three day three days left timers so you can see uh, that uh, email is sent it successfully so now you, you can see also the time the zero minutes ago so this is our email reminder web application uh, with grid functionalities uh, you can also uh, uh, here's a button of the reload table you can also reload your table data like that and uh, also uh, you can able to see them uh, right, uh, right now is 30th so when I am going to change this uh, 31st and click on this update icon so the date is successfully changes in our database or in our front end as well so now you can see here and after that when I am click on this reload table so remaining uh, every one second the trigger will work and it will check the conditions if conditions meet it will send the email to that particular person so uh, hope you like this video you like this email reminder web application and please do a comment so we can improve this and next video project ideas do in the comment and make sure we'll be meet you in next soon it will be meet you in our next coming video have a good day take care